Hey everybody, so um, I'm Pedro Alcocer. I uh, am a staff data scientist at the Ave companies and I am the lead data scientist on the Lens Protocol. And uh, my talk today is gonna answer this question, um, how do I integrate different sources of reputational evidence? Um, reputation is something that lots and lots and lots of teams are working on right now. Um, and I'm seeing some patterns that I think um, are less than ideal and I wanna sort of address that. Uh, my whole talk really is like in this slide, right? So the answer to the question I just asked is, I, is what I want you to do is re represent your beliefs about your reputational signals as beta distributions and then do Bayesian updating to combine them. And I'll sort of explain what all these things mean. Okay, so this is what you should not do, right? So lots of teams, what they're doing is that they're taking um, a weight vector and a signal vector, they're doing the dot product and out comes your reputation, right? Another way to think about that is like this. So you know you have your weights, you have your signals, um, you multiply them up, and then you sum them up, and then out comes a reputation number. Um, I think this is less than ideal, and I'll, exp I'll explain why. So um, information about uh, the variance of your signals is lost when you do what I just showed. And variance is important to know because it's a measure of quality. It's how you represent the quality of the signal. And I'll explain a little bit more about what I mean by quality in a minute. Um, so what it means if you were throwing away the variance is that you're throwing away quality information. So now you don't know if your final reputation is coming from lots of like sort of low quality signals or maybe a combination of high and low or you don't know anymore. This is what weighting looks like without variance, right? It's just one number. So in this case, it's maybe like 0.8 um, and it, that's really all you get. You get this like one weight. But what if you did it like this, right? So you still have this uh, 0.8 sort of mean uh, point estimate uh, but now you have like confidence intervals around it, right? So the, the underlying distribution behind this weight is actually something kind of wide, right? That, this is what I, I would call a low quality signal versus something like this, which again is mean 0.8, but has much narrower confidence intervals. So we're much more confident about the value of this weight than the previous one. This is a high quality signal. So you know, yeah, now if you have these two signals, one with uh, sort of a high value, but maybe low quality, and maybe one with like uh, a low value but high quality, you know, what are you doing to combine these? How do you do that? Um, and uh, part of the answer is that you have to represent these as beta distributions. So a beta distribution is just a kind of statistical distribution which is bound between zero and one and takes two parameters, alpha and beta. And I'll explain sort of what these parameters mean in a moment. So um, I'll like to do some concrete examples of some potential signals. So a really high, si a high quality signal is like, do you have a Poe app from Rave, right? So this is a very difficult to Sybil uh, signal that maybe I would say maybe one out of every thousand uh, users uh, who have this Rave Poe app are Sybils. They somehow Sybiled it. Uh, so that's pretty high quality versus something like um, having an ENS address, which is harder to, it's like medium hard to Sybil because you still have to pay for it. Uh, but it's, you know, that's, anybody can sort of get many uh, ENS addresses. So, you know, the beta distribution comes in where, uh, you know, the, the way to think about the alpha parameter is that it's the number of non sibyls that you have in like your sample. And then you sort, you, f you fix the uh, beta uh, parameter to one and you sort of adjust the alpha parameter accordingly to sort of match this like real intuition about like one in a thousand are sibyls or one in a hundred or one in 10 are sibyls. So then to combine them, uh, we use Bayesian updating. And for uh, the beta distribution, Bayesian updating is really easy because all you have to do is just add up the alphas and betas. So to give you an example, if uh, I was combining the three signals I just showed, uh, I'd add up you know, the alphas and the betas and I'd get this outcome like posterior distribution that better represents uh, my belief about the true reputation and sort of how confident I, I am in, the, in the, like the final value. But here's like a little bit of a more wild example. So um, say you had 50 signals and they were all low quality. Uh, so beta three, one, it's very like one in four are sibyls. Uh, so, but if you, you know, do Bayesian updating and you combine all these beta distributions, the outcome distribution is beta 150, uh, comma 50, which is actually a pretty high quality distribution because the, uh, the confidence interval is really small on it. 
So uh, to sort of motivate this whole thing, uh, so let's say you have these two outcome reputations. Um, again, like let's say this one is like that, it has that mean, this one is like this and has this mean. The, the means are uh, identical, but uh, this one we're, we're much more likely to trust than this user, who might actually be kind of low, potentially, or maybe really high, but maybe low, right? So uh, what, whereas in this guy, we really know that that's sort of where, reputationally, uh, this user lives. Uh, which hopefully maybe has a little bit more context now and maybe it's a, bit, a little bit easier to understand. What I want you to do is to uh, represent your beliefs about reputational signals uh, as beta distributions and then combine them using Bayesian updating. Uh, so that is essentially Bayesian inference in like seven minutes. Uh, so thank you for <laughs> listening. Um, I am still out of breath from this, this altitude. Uh, uh, my name is Pedro Alcoser. These are my uh, contact details. I'm going to be releasing a lot more information about this kind of approach, which I think is um, kind of a, a very useful approach. It's the one we're going to be using for the Lens uh, Protocol um, reputation system. So you can find me on the Leaf apps at palco.lens, uh, the Bird app uh, at palco, and then on Telegram, palco xyz. Thank you.